Okay, so we've got the computer cleaned out. We're ready to take the GPU out and uh, take the heatsink off and put the block on. So it's both an exciting and slightly nerve wracking uh, endeavor. You know, as I've mentioned before, my first time water cooling and 6900 XT is not exactly a cheap GPU. So, you know, want to make sure everything goes goes well. There we go. Uh, you probably won't be able to see it, but there is a slight bend in the PCB right there. May or may not be able to see it. Okay, so four, one, two, three, four. It should really not be on the middle of the table for this. I'll scooch over this side. So these jump springs are going in. go okay <clears throat> so most of it is off give you a good look at what what it looks like <clears throat> I'll try and take the camera later and get a more up close uh, look of the card kind of works. There we go. Pop. Alright, so I'm gonna cut this and we'll go to a close-up of the board. Okay, so here's a close-up of the board. And we'll try to dive a little bit And we'll clean it up and then sort of take another another video afterwards. So this is, just to recap, the Sapphire Nitro Plus 6900 XT. Not the SC edition, but the original one. And the back of the board. All right, so let's clean it and take another look. Okay, so the card is all disassembled and cleaned and we're ready to assemble the water block. I brought my laptop because uh, I'd rather not do this one uh, blind like I did the disassembly. So, i got the instructions here.
So, <laughs> I, I, I love, you know, their, their explanation here. Uh, cut to size, you know, thermal pads should be placed on PCB as illustrated below. EK made sure to provide you with more than an adequate quantity of thermal pads for this step. Uh, and, you know, absolutely. So, let's cut these. Yeah, so there might be some on the back. I'll have to scan this code. Okay, so I'm just going to look up the manual for the back plate, just in case. Installation manual, there it is. Well, uh, that's a bit of a oops. I guess I got my thermal pads mixed up. These are the ones that are supposed to go in the back. Oh well, live and learn. In fact, they even don't say to put any here. I wonder why. This part here is raised a little bit. Maybe it just touches it directly. Interesting. So we'll leave it off for now. Let's go ahead and get these guys peeled and installed. I don't want to get tweezers for this. I'm still surprised I don't want anything. I don't want anything there. Why? It's the same. You know what? I'm gonna put it on. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a oversight or an error on their part or if it's intentional, but there was thermal tape there before. And I don't see a noticeable difference in the ridge here for these ones and there for this one. Okay, all our tapes are off, paste is on, it's time to put you in. 
again. I'm not quite sure where I want to route that wire. Let's just see if there's a quick explanation on it. There is not. I suppose I can even put this just behind the back plate. Now we're going to tuck it out of the way. So I can put you down properly. Should have done this the other way, but that's okay. We're here now. There we go. Okay, so we're on. So I am going to start by uh, the GPU core and I'm putting these on just until there's a little bit of resistance and then I'll go over later and, and tighten them up. And I'm also doing them in a bit of a star pattern as much as I can, uh, kind of thinking like uh, changing tires on a car, always go in a star. Now, I am curious, this, uh -huh. see, so there are some screws, I should not be placing. Basically done with this. So there is almost the final product. Now I didn't put all the screws in uh, because what I'm, you know, realizing is that there's going to be quite a few screws that I have to take out in order to put the back plate on. These two, that one, this one which I put in, that one which I put in. Okay, so we got everything on, and the next step is going to be using these 
longer screws. Okay, so everything is off and we're ready to put this on top of card. So, kind of last chance to figure out what I want to do with this, this cable here. I don't want it in the front. If anything, I want to sneak it in the back. Done. Wow, is it ever heavy. So, there is the graphics card with the EK water block and backplate. Not a big fan of this here. Well, especially, it would be nicer if it was maybe on this side over here where, where it's against the case, but here it's just kind of going to be floating right where you're in the middle of the case where you're looking. Okay, so I want to put this aside and figure out my next steps.